All right, welcome back to my playthrough of the harder version, the arid plant of Empyrean Galactic Survival, Episode 3. Now, before I, I start, uh, I, I was watching another YouTuber, and he started the same way I did, exactly the same, except for one difference. And because of that difference, he started out with 14 biofuel instead of the two that I had. He started out with the pistol and the my, the drill for mining instead of just the survival tool that I had and so he got he had the uh, constructor before I had the constructor so I was wondering what was the difference and the difference was in the beginning when it came up for the Robinson protocol he selected skip and I said do it because as far as I knew the Robinson protocol did not apply to this arid planet it never did before it was only the temperate planet well if you skip it the game automatically gives you a bunch of extra resources. And so he got all those all those resources. And I didn't. I was like, you know, bare minimum uh, trying to survive. And uh, uh, and I just carried on. Well, I didn't know it, but all this time, I've had the Robinson Protocol. And here it is. And all I had to do was follow the protocol down the line here, just like I did on the uh, Temperate Planet in my last playthrough. So uh, they, I don't think... I don't know if chapter if all the chapters are here, but definitely it looks like this first chapter is here, and uh, uh, and that's really a change. That just happened because of this 8.5 update, and so I've been struggling through the to establish myself, and there's actually uh, more to it with the protocol here. But now that I've done it, I'm glad I had the hard way. I didn't die, but I uh, I managed to uh, uh, luckily not run into any. Uh, uh, arachnids in this uh, starter biome area and I've got water and stuff so uh, but anyway I, I've got to be working through and uh, uh, I guess next is to find that distress signal and work, work my way through all, all that but uh, uh, one thing I need to do is I need to go back to the wreckage area where all those resources are down here and I need to dig for resources as soon as I get enough uh, Biofuel to run my uh, drill, and I'm going to do that. And then, how much biofuel do I have? I have three. I need more biofuel, and I do not have any uh, fiber. I got to get fiber, so I got to use this biofuel to run the drills and whatnot to get the fiber to uh, to make more biofuel, and I can do that. Because back at that wreckage, there were a lot of trees back there. I don't say a lot of trees, but more trees than there are here. So I'm going to break loose here at the beginning. And I'm going to go back to that area, get some fiber, try to build some biofuel, get me some ores, and then I'll, I'll come back here and we'll start. Because what I really need to do, and let me turn my light back on here, what I really need to do is uh, get the bare necessities, get this base running with the uh, solar panels, the turrets, and whatnot. And I'm kind of hoping, too. I'm kind of hoping that when I do get attacked, that it won't be necessarily coming from the direction of the water, uh, because then I'll be shooting down those uh, drones out into the water, and I have to go get them for resources. Hopefully, they'll be coming from one of these angles or sides or something like that. But you know, who knows? We'll we'll see when we get there. How we doing here? This is off. Uh, and what's in here? Uh, oh, I do have a bunch of uh, logs in here, so let me see. Let me make a bunch of biofuel now, and then I will take off and get my uh, drilling done over on the uh, on the other side. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me get some more. Yeah. Uh, so when I come back, hopefully I'll have a bunch of ores and I'll be uh, tied up my base to actually get it uh, powered up and ready to go. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I went out and I did some uh, resource mining. I started with silicon and I ended with silicon because... Uh, I'm not going to mine at night anymore. I got jumped by an O2 and a couple of arachnids, and I, I got away safely. Uh, but I got enough silicon, and I already had some uh, copper and iron. I was able to get my 
station up and running. And I, I went out again and got a bunch of wood so I can have some uh, uh, fuel, biofuel. So I, I got the bare necessities here. And I really need a fridge because I, I got to be able to store food. I'm, and uh, my mission right now is to go out and get some food as well. But uh, I went up and I got a, uh, all these uh, solar panels up, as you can see, uh, to catch the uh, sun as it passes over from uh, east to west. So if we look at our... Oh, and look, I have two guns up there. Somehow I clicked it twice. I, I don't normally do that. I clicked it once, and before I knew it, I had two cannon turrets. Uh, uh, which reminds me, I do need to have a little bit of extra ammo. I don't have too much, too much ammo. But uh, they haven't come for me yet, which is great. And uh, also, uh, I have to embrace the uh, the protocol because I, uh, I did start that way. So remember that tower up there? Now that tower has got a label to it. It's the alien tower. So uh, eventually I have to go over there and uh, go ahead and uh, do that part of the protocol and uh, to get it going to the next level. So I guess I, if it follows the same route, I'm going to have the Titan uh, crash fragments over here and all that stuff too. But uh, just I came close to death a couple of times here. with uh, I had my, my food down to seconds. I mean, uh, uh, literally, I was down to almost dying before I was able to get uh, eat something. Uh, so I, I got my base up and going. I got a bunch of uh, uh, biofuel to get going. I've got the uh, uh, output of my solar is 595. It's it's during the day. It is awesome. I'm getting uh, a, a a lot of uh, input. But I'm not sure if it's in. okay. My battery is starting to fill up, one percent. Hopefully, over time that'll that'll fill up. And uh, I got 30 percent biofuel in the uh, generator right now. But uh, I need to sustain this place without fuel because I do not have fuel. I mean, there are these little cactus things don't give me any fuel, and uh, I need to have uh, something to get me to get me by. So right now, what I'm going to do is go out and give me some more meat, and uh, so bring it back and fill up my fridge uh, because I. Did run out of uh, power here uh, a while back, and the meat I had in here all disappeared on me. Uh, but that shouldn't happen again now that I have my solar panels up uh, and going. So that is good, and I got more of these here. And let's see, just in case, I got, might as well be making something. I need some more concrete blocks. Eventually, I will need uh, to work on the oxygen here as well. So, base oxygen, uh, we can do that there. And a clone chamber, I guess I should do that. So that if I die, I can spawn back here. Do that. And I need an O2 dispenser if I have that available. Let me see real quick. Uh, oh, probably not. It's probably down here somewhere. In fact, I need to look real quick at my... Uh, because uh, I, I did gain the level when I went and picked up the wood. So I'm level 6 right now. I've got a lot of things to pick up. Let me look at my oh, O2 station. There we go. And uh, of course I learned that if you double click on this now, you no longer have to run over here and hit unlock. You can just double click. So O2 station is good. I do want elevator blocks. Uh, plant grow light. I do need to have that. Uh, I might do the sentry. Oh, food processor. Yes. Uh, armor locker. Yes. Ventilator. If I do my oxygen, I need that. Uh, weapons uh, might as well undo the assault rifle finally and the explosive device uh, T2 rifle no not that yet and uh, just in case I need more light armor no 22 let me check my other stuff first symbol multi-tool I need a multi-tool I don't have the multi-charge but I do need a multi-tool so we'll get that out there symbol and texture might as well start getting fancy with my base a little bit and let's see what I got over here. Uh, no, that's it. I have, and I haven't unlocked anything from my vessels. I'm not even thinking about those things yet, hover vessel or anything. And I, I will have to eventually, especially if I go to the alien tower over the water. The hover vessel would be the best bet. But I still need to do other things uh, first there to get myself uh, going. So one more check of my power situation here, 
and look at that 740 incoming but I'm using 529 because I engaged my uh, my I engaged my uh, constructor here so it's, it's sucking out power now so uh, that, that is true so my battery is still 1% but once my constructor finishes that it ought to go down and ought to be fine and the sun is, is working on this side and eventually working on that side and it should be good to go so I'll be back I'm gonna get some meat come back and I'll talk to you in just a little bit okay I feel a little better about things now I've got some food in the fridge uh, need to get my oxygen going here oh actually I built a little oxygen dispenser here put the water I was getting in there so I should be able just to do this and fill up there we go great uh, which reminds me I need to uh, put some I'm gonna have to find another door to get around it's gonna be a long way around here to get over to here where I have my little water dispenser right here and put some fuel in there I'll have to relocate this there you go uh, but what I need to do now get through here check this out is to make myself a farm I, I need to have uh, the ability to uh, I could go right through here uh, ability to grow some some veggies and to make some canned food something that I can uh, uh, that, that will last long for some trips and not just a mere minutes that lasts like 100 minutes and I think I'm going to build my farm right out here I'm going to dig down into it next put a door probably right into here and uh, come out and do that so uh, let me see what do I go in here I'm still building stuff here. I got plenty of oxygen. That's it's, it's nice. Food, oxygen, water. Uh, the the hard part about starting is is pretty much over now. But uh, but I'm still going to be working on the farm. I'm going to dig down into here to do that. Dig down and build a an area right out here for access uh, here. So. Uh, I don't want to bore you with the, with the digging and that, but uh, when I do get it uh, uh, kind of uh, hollowed out, and and I'll, I'll build it and I'll go ahead and put it together, and you can see how I'm I'm going to do that. So I'll be back in just a bit. Yeah, welcome back. I decided to dig down outside for the uh, farm, so you can see uh, partially dug out now, and the framework kind of built into it. Uh, I'm going to remove this as soon as it produces its last bit of, uh, of uh, oxygen and uh, water and move it somewhere else. But I'm going to build out this way. And this way I have a, a flat, look at this here up here, a flat area. And I can actually add more uh, solar panels up here. Not that I really need them, but I, I, I just don't want anything to do with power. If I look at my power system now... Look at this. I'm up to 18% reserve, which is great. 18% reserve. It's, it's nighttime right now, and I'm only using 89, and I'm producing 82, so it's a minimal difference. The battery's taking care of that. But during the day, if I keep going this way, the battery will be up to 100% uh, if I don't uh, use my constructor too much. But uh, if I can get that going up to that battery going strength, maybe put a few extra ones up here just to... Uh, uh, amplify it build up my farm then this will be my initial base of operations for getting out and getting things done and uh, uh, of course the tower over there would be one of the first things to do uh, I feel like now I, I can I can really breathe I, <laughs> speaking of a no air planet right I can really breathe and uh, uh, I can gorge on some food and not worry about it uh, uh, I'm over the hill as far as uh, the curve I guess of uh, I am over the hill also but the, over the curve for survivability so I'm going to pull this back it's a block of nine so uh, that's one block of nine no block. I'm just going to pull back to maybe I get two blocks of nine and I can fill them all in right away I'm just I'm not going to have a huge thing going on here just uh, health and uh, and uh, uh, food 
not like my other place where I had all, all kinds of things. This is just my temporary base, believe it or not. Uh, it just takes this kind of uh, work to make the base viable so that I don't have to worry about it in this condition. So I'm going to build this back so I can put in two, uh, two sets of nine in there uh, and uh, close it off and eventually build some more, probably two more solar panels for the top there just to give it a little bit of uh, extra and maybe even connect across here and put panels going the opposite way over over here and then uh, even to extend the opening to my base back over here somewhere and pull it all out so I'll uh, let me finish digging this out and extend it and I'll be right back okay as I was digging this out and uh, you see I'm making good progress I want to get back a little farther I got my first warning of drones coming to attack my base so uh, I almost forgot to build more ammo but I, I'm pretty sure I have plenty of ammo right now let me take a look at my base devices uh, let me go ahead and group everything here yeah fine okay my turret cannon turret ammo I wonder if I get the other one as well or if I uh, sucked in all the few ammo that I have on by doing that let me check that again the other one out here cannon turret oh, I still got some okay but it's got no extra but it's got plenty okay need to build more ammo 30 how's my base power and everything 19% it's nighttime but uh, let's go ahead and build the uh, build the ammo which is the 30 millimeter billet oh I didn't even check to see if I have enough that should be plenty so let's get out here and see if we can see where they're coming from get up here get my gun out even though I don't think I'll be doing much fighting where are you coming from? Flat land out here. I should be able to see. I, I, I just got the feeling they're going to be coming from that direction. Which I hope not. But, I got that warning. And it's been a couple of minutes. So we know that the drone base isn't right nearby. I know sometimes you, you get that warning and all of a sudden bang, bang, bang. Uh... So maybe having two cannons up here is a good thing so that uh, these guys don't come in and like ring havoc on my solar panels or anything. Uh, but I do want to check where these guys are coming from. And maybe they are far, far away. Which kind of looks that way because I don't even see anything out there anywhere. Look at the map. And they probably won't be coming from this direction. So my guess is they're coming from over here somewhere. But, uh, okay, well, when they come into view, I'll pop in and let you know. And as soon as I went out, they came in. And they're coming from over here, which is actually a good direction. I like that direction. Except that my cannon back here can't fire because I'll have to move them. Okay, well, I'm going to... It's nighttime, but you know what? I'm going to go out there anyway and uh, get my... Oh, didn't need to do that. Get some oxygen in me. See if I get some promethean or something for these guys. But now i got to move that one cannon around the other way. Uh, okay, so let me get my bike down. And let's see if I can get there before I lose lose those things. So the first attack, because I did take it the hard. Normally you just get one drone on the first attack, but I got two this time. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to run into you there, buddy. Capacitor, minigun, steel plate. Okay, that's alright. 
And let's get, is the other one still there? There you are right there, okay. Oscillator and some fuel pack. Oh, what's that? I can't pull that. Okay. All right. If this is the direction they come in, nice and flat area like this, I can get to it pretty quick. Uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be great. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna move that uh, one cannon around the other side if I got enough support for it. Let's see what I got there. All right, let me get over here and see what we have. Yeah, I think we do. I'm going to have to move that over. And the only way to do that is to dismantle it. But I don't know. I don't have a multi-tool. So I can't uh, get it all back. So I'm going to have to rebuild it. And look at this. 3,000, 4,000 hit points. And I'll be using my stamina to get it. All right. I'm going to rebuild it. And I'll put it over there. And I'll get back to you. Okay. Let's look at our situation right now here. Uh got my two guns facing the correct location uh, that direction that's good I uh, got if I look at my it's it's right now you can tell it's, it's nighttime right now it's after midnight if I look at my power my power is dropping I'm cons using more than I'm uh, making but it's overnight actually look at this I got 35% battery power every day I gain a bunch more than I use at night, obviously, and I've uh, I've been using my my constructor during the day a couple of times here, because I was making the uh, the uh, farm area, so that uh, kind of held it back a little bit. But this this place is self-sustaining, and that's awesome. I, I've never had a place like that before that was totally self-sustaining. Uh, so this is my my first time, and uh, what I think I'm going to do is I had this place here. I am going to uh, move out around here and search for my next location. I want to get, I know these areas here, uh, down here by the wreckage, uh, these ores are going to be, uh, I'm going to get them and uh, run them back to my base here. I'll probably end up renaming this base. But if I can make bases that are self-sustaining, I am going to make a couple of bases self-sustaining. Now the only thing that I have to watch out for is make sure it has enough ammo if it gets attacked until I can take out the uh, the drone base but I want to move out this way uh, I, I want to get a biome that's got more trees it's got some water maybe Promethean deposits just a, a, a friendly biome that will be complementary to this biome here that I have right here so that I can uh, uh, move between them easily when I have to make round trips I can just go to one go to the other so I gotta find the location and uh, uh, scout it out and then slowly bring up the same standards that I have for this one here. Uh, so I think in, in this game, instead of having a, like a one major base, I'm going to have these little self-sustaining bases that I can go around and uh, and uh, uh, hit when I need to. Uh, and uh, especially if I can get one that's close to a, a POI, an alien, uh, like uninhabited uh, place or something that I can uh, go in and, and uh, take apart and get some resources from. As soon as I raid one of those places, I'm going to get some great resources. I know that. Uh, so what have I done here besides that? It's nighttime here. Uh, uh, gonna do some. I moved my door over one to the right here so I can build this wall here. Uh, this is pretty much the same in here. I haven't textured or colored anything yet. But I have this little uh, elevator here going down to where uh, I have one, uh, two plots. I'm only using a few that I got from the these were the original ones given to me because of the protocol and the wreckage that I got those. Uh, so they're sitting there like that. Uh, eventually I'll get some more sprouts and this will be, uh, help me to make food that will last longer than what I have now. So, uh, uh, oxygen, I, I'm going to have a, I'm going to make another door over here and I'm going to make a, a water area, uh, that I can go to and, uh, get that, one water uh, maker I have, uh, auction maker for the water bottles way out here. So it's, it's kind of out. I got to move that in, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. What I want to do right now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and 
Well, it's nighttime. Let me change it to daytime before I head on out. I'm going to take the heater cooler with me and one of these with me too in case I need to construct some food or something off the bat. Um, do that. So let me change it to daytime. And there we go. I got that. Okay. And I want to also pick up this and pick up that. Oops, too much. Sounds like there's Morse code going on over here. I got things clicking on my desk. Oops, oops, stop falling. Okay, uh, let me get this put away. I can put this tool away for now. Uh, everything else is fine. Bring this back in. It's empty. Okay. So, did I pick it up? Let me see. I've got that. I've got that. Okay, yeah, let me put these all close together so I know what's going on here. Uh, actually, I don't need the O2 condenser. I can leave that here. Let me leave the O2 condenser here. That right there. And I picked that up, and I, I was probably making a bunch of stuff too, wasn't I? Let me do this again. I have plenty of biofuel because I've been working very hard at uh, getting that ready. Okay, so I got that going good. That's going good. I've got that. Let me go ahead and munch on one meat, even though it's uh, going to be a little bit of overkill, just so I got full health as I walk on out of here. Okay, and let me get some oxygen real quick. I'm carrying my ore detector, so when I ride around, if I come close to an ore resource, I should be able to see it better. So let me get out here, look at the map, and I'm going to mark it up here. And that's the direction I want to go in. And let's see if we can't find something. This has been pretty good. I feel like I'm pretty comfortable now, pretty safe, but uh, uh, I did run into uh, Otos and uh, Arachnids uh, the other day, or not the other day, just uh, uh, when I went mining by the uh, wreckage. So let's head on towards that marker. This uh, water goes pretty far, very far. Let's see, okay, so get over this ridge maybe I'll see something better to uh, really want to get some uh, green some resources now uh, okay now that might be a that might be good or that may be a radiation biome out there uh, look at all these nice uh, meaty sandworms here meaty sandworms okay I think that's probably a radiation biome but uh, I'll still get close to it and check it out trees are good let's see oh no this is a regular place oh, look at these trees this is a regular spot I believe those guys, I uh, don't look at me here. Uh, oh, first time I've seen this resource. Herbal leaves. I mean, I've seen them in, in the temperate zone, but never, never here. So interesting. And I saw those other leaves back there. Okay. Uh, that looks like I can pick that one up too. But why does it uh, look? Uh, It's just too close. It's probably in the same hitbox. Probably in the same hitbox. Okay. Let's see what we got down here. Here's another one. Oh, are they all that way? They all look like they got little double things there. Okay. That's what they are. Okay. Maybe I can find mushrooms and uh, spices. And I'm not sure what does. I, I think I heard that all things grow here. Nice to have a tree here or trees oh there it is now the thing about the thing about spices are 
that uh, you need them to really enhance your, your meat dishes. And so, boy, I tell you what, if I find some more spices, uh, they're going to go into my garden. I'm going to be making some spices. Uh, definitely going to help out the, uh, the food situation. Okay, let's go right here. What do we got there? What is that? What is that? I have never seen that before. Just a fancy bulb, like a huge deformed onion bulb or something. Okay, let's look around. I'd love to get some more spice so I can plant those things. There's our herbal, uh, herbal leaves again. Come on, getting out of the green here now. There's a honey way over there. that coffee thing. Well, I'm about to run back to the fridge here pretty soon and uh, put this in because the stimulants are good for the for the food development too. Not so much on the honey though. Not so much on the honey. So how, what's my deadline for all this stuff here? The uh, spices. 47, 58, 58, 22. Okay, I'm looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. What's that? What's that item there? That's nothing there. Okay. I'm kind of getting out of the green here, so I don't know if the spice. I really want to run into some more spice. this it's awesome looking bud yeah bud and more bud some fancy looking stuff around here but I really want spice and what's my bud deadline 99 okay good 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 I have to figure out what are the best dishes and meals to have And I know spices are one are, are my top priority is spice. But look at this area. Green with all kinds of neat stuff. And I see a spider. I see a spider. Just one though. Is there another one out there somewhere? I just see one. Let's jump out here. Just one. Yep, there's a spider. Let's see how easy is a kill. Two shots. He sort of delayed there once on me. And I don't see any buddies. No buddies. So I'll shift up him. Let's see what I got there. Meat and stuff, okay. Oh, spice, there we go. That was worth it coming over here. I think two spices is what I need to start. Derelict base. All right. There's kind of like I was talking about, trying to find water next to some green area, next to a place where I can uh, attack. So very, very possible that this is the area for our next stepping stone for a base. Very possible. Yes, it looks pretty decent. Got some water right here. Got the, plenty of trees. Uh, what about sun? Sun's east to west, so it would be setting over there and coming out over there. So the trees would block some of it coming in, but not too badly. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go back and create some plants and plant these things so I can get my food uh, 
growing better uh, better combinations. Once I get that spice in there, I can make that meat last a lot lot longer. So I'll come back in just a bit. Hang on. Okay, I put the stuff in the uh, fridge and I went ahead and put my spices down here, my bud and the two honey down here. Give it kind of a well-rounded uh, spices I really need. In fact, the first uh, harvest I get of these, I'll probably replant them one more time uh, because they're just too important. And uh, buds gives me that hot uh, beverage I can mix into things and sweetener with the honey. Uh, so that was really a good trip out there. Let me check this again. That was really a good trip out there. Let me take away that marker. Found that derelict base. Got nice little water right down there too. With uh, it looks like more green all around the outside there. That and that's close to the base. That might be a nice place for a for a stop. Let me go ahead and mark that. I don't want to do it right there though. It's towards the bottom a little bit. And I'm going to head out there again and uh, take another look at, at this area here and see. And what I might do is I might just go all the way around the outside here. So let's go there, there, there. Let me go right past the alien tower. Why don't we do that real quick? Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. I, don't, I haven't died yet, so uh, I, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Uh, I went ahead and uh, created an ore scanner in case I come across some Promethean. And, of course, I have my detector to try to detect more ore. Uh, it's nighttime. I don't want nighttime, so we'll flip it back to daytime. And we'll go ahead and take off. And see what we can see. I thought my game froze on me, but it didn't. My bike was stuck in a rut. <laughs> I could not get out of that hole with my bike. It was sitting there. I thought my game was frozen, but I was able to, to save it and get out, get back in. And finally, I just uh, picked up my bike and moved it over the rut. Uh, okay, so let's make it towards the uh, marker. Fly by here as fast as I can. tell you what I've had a definitely a regular diet of desert worms since I've been out here that's all I've been eating hopefully my stomach won't get any worms all right uh, the marker is around the corner there I probably won't stop unless I see spice I'll stop for spice but uh I really want to do some traveling and try to open up some resources and this time make it all the way around. So here we go. Of course I have to watch out for those spiders too, but if I don't get off my bike I'm okay. Alright. This is really a nice area. Very, very nice biome with the... Uh, it's a savanna that has lots of trees. Boy, I tell you what, if I would have been here first I wouldn't have that fuel issue at all. Some more buds. Gotta keep my eyes open for the spice. Probably had a few just fly right by me. I watch the scenery and I just forget about everything else. Veggies, don't eat veggies. Can be positive. There's the spice right there. No spiders around. I don't worry about the. Uh... And there's a drone up ahead. A rocket drone. And he's guarding the silicon. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, you mean I have to. 
Oh wait, is this? Okay, yeah, I can get through here. I can get through here. Oh, spider, hi. Are you just more of a cricket guy, more than less of a spider? Okay, now let me see where am I going here. Okay, I need to go left. There's that marker. spice though so I can grow some more spice so then I don't have to worry about regrowing the new spice I got I can just uh, use it on my meats we're getting out of the savannah now we're in the savannah fringe which means I'm probably not going to save any more spice which is too bad some veggies there but, oh that's a spider <laughs> veggie. No veggie there. That was a spider. Okay. Let me look overall at the map here real quick. Yeah. I'm heading in the right direction. Going back to the desert though. Okay, so... Back into the desert area. Let's see what's over here. I guess there could be resources out here, right? There could be something underneath here. Okay, what do we got there? Advanced spaceport. That's probably not what I want. Mini gun drone. Where are you, advanced spaceport? Are you in that blank area there? Probably. Those guys can shoot pretty far too. There it is, right there, advanced spaceport. Well, we are going to avoid that right now. See if I can sneak under it. Let's see where I'm going. Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm gonna reset my waypoint over here. Oops. And get rid of this one. Advanced spaceport. That's something to remember for the future. Oasis fringe here, so that's what this oasis. No spices here either. Okay, going down to the marker. All right, made it to the marker. Now, oh, look at that water there. Can I make it to the new mark? Am I heading towards the marker? Yes, I am. Can I make it between here, or is that water all the way across? Let's see. And I see the alien tower in the distance. Mountains popping up in the distance, too. Really nice. That's out in the water. And it's white, so it should be... Oh, can I see that? Is that... What is that? Deserves a look. That deserves a look. Let's make sure our gun is set and loaded. That's a, and it's white, so it should be an okay place to check out. As we come up on it. Okay. I guess I. I could get the gun out of my hands if I want to really check things out here, but 
Come on, get up here. There you go. Wow. Thrusters. Oh, wow. I think if, once I get my real multi-tool mobility boost, I'll be able to take these things apart and get some good fuel tank. Okay, there's uh, radiation here. Look at all these thrusters. Ventilator. Oh my gosh. All right, there's some there's some radiation here, definitely. Let's see what else. Okay. Can I get back around here? Can't get back around here. I'm going to have to. Is this a door? Other faction, but that's a door. Can I get through here? I can. Night vision goggles. Oh, there's a bonus. Ventilator again, yes. Okay, what's up here? Oh, look at this. RCS. A T2 sniper in the wardrobe. What are you doing in the wardrobe? Multi-tool T2. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. A little bit of help. A little bit of help. That's what I'm talking about. What's in here? Okay, well, I don't know if I can blast my way in there, but I'll check around first here. This is EVA boost. Well, when space is a thing, I'll be ready for it. Another huge RCS. And it goes up even higher. What do we got here? A locker, regular multi-tool. Know what's in there? Might be an elevator or something. Oh boy, this is what I need. I need a type two. Uh, feeling hot? Don't give me that feeling hot stuff. All right. get away from that hotness. Me, well, I can't put that down out here. Let me see. Let me get down. Now let's land back here. Let's land. Okay. Interesting. <sighs> Do I have this marked on my map? Uh, well, that's that's there, so that's marked, yeah. Very, very interesting. That is something. All right, let me continue on my way here. Pick that up and get in the water so I can get back around again. And that red on my map, that is where the, yeah, it's where the enemy tower is, I guess. All right, let's get through here. All right, I'm going to head towards the alien tower in just a second, but I need to take a break. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I had to do a little trip with the car and back. And let's head over to the alien tower. Put that down. Might as well get this thing over with, right? Head on over there. And get that part of the protocol done. Because uh, after that, I believe we get into the... Uh... Oh, 
what's this damaged alien tower? Damaged alien tower comes ahead of the alien tower. Interesting. Interesting. And that's purple also, it's not red. That's something else to be checking out. Kind of pretty close to it right now, but I don't see any any bad things happening. But you know what? I'm just gonna do my Robson protocol, head towards the alien tower that I'm supposed to be headed to, and go ahead and go through that. If it's anything like the uh, temperament, the early one, uh, I have to go in to the top, drop through the bottom, and same thing or is it different looking? Oh, it looks about the same I guess. Yeah, so it's about the same. Uh, let me get my gun out. Make sure I'm loaded. Yeah I got that okay. Uh, let's make sure I'm good with oxygen. You want more? Don't have any food on me, but I wasn't planning on staying out here very long. How about my spice? That's good for a while? Yeah, it's good for a while. Okay, let's go ahead and go up in here. And here we go. Right. Okay, we're stuck in here. We gotta look for the wall that we can bounce up against, which is this one. Then we flip the switch. Get the beautiful lights. And everything... Okay, yeah, symbols are unknown, heavily weathered, tower must be very old. It's amazing because uh, uh, I haven't been on the Ever Plant before, it's the first time, but I know that the Robson Protocol wasn't here before, so this is all newly added. So then we have to get to the point where this thing explodes open for me. There we go. Now, I wonder what kind of monsters are going to be. Are they going to be the normal type monsters or are they going to be different ones? Okay, I, I need to. I don't have those guys. Okay. Oh, good. One hit. No, that was amazing. That took one hit. That took two hits. Open wound? How did I get an open wound? Okay. Open wound. I got bandages. Okay. All right. Good. Survived. Those guys can reach pretty far, surprisingly. Let me get stuff that. And now, uh, back to the wreckage. Well, uh, what time is it? Was that time to go back to the wreckage? From where I'm at? That's way over there. But I think I do have time, so we'll go ahead and do that. Just to advance the protocol. Then I'm going to head back to the base and call it a day, or should I say, call it an episode. Look at that biome right there. That's the, that is definitely the uh, radiation biome there. There's probably all kinds of neat things in there too, and, and I'll lay you odds that the Promethean is in there. I'm, I'm not going to go inside. I'm just going to kind of skirt it. I do have my. Uh, detector on so I should be able to see a little bit farther than, than normal uh, food should be okay if I get back in time here all I want to do is uh, progress the uh, protocol it's going to tell me to build a base I believe which I already have so be interesting about uh, how to progress that it's going to ask me probably to build a core and lay it down but we shall see I really want to build a base on that other side that I saw just a little while ago towards that uh, other uh, POI. But, uh, but I want to progress the protocol, so I'll pop here real quick just to uh, progress the protocol. And then I'm going to head back to my base. Let's get over there. I don't want anything to spoil on me. And that's the important thing get back before things spoil and. 
probably build a base. I already know how to build a base. Basic inf information there. Okay, we're almost uh, at the wreckage. It's getting dark already. Cause oh, cause I'm heading east. Oh, that's I forgot about that. Okay, well, we're there at the wreckage anyway, so we're okay. Okay. Now it's telling me if I want to do this, I want to do that, and I don't want to, I want to head back. So, let me head back to my base. And that'll be it. So, thank you for following me on this episode, episode 3. And I'll uh, probably go ahead and do another episode tomorrow. So, thanks a lot. Take it easy, and I'll see you then.